Soyad Mahafuz al Hassan. I am a first year uh, doctoral student in the Department of Public Health of Kago University, Japan. Uh, I am going to uh, present on the topics of the dynamics and temporal trends of energy and available macronutrients in Nepal. And this is a joint point regression analysis of the FAO's food balance sheet data. And uh, let's have a quick outlook of the presentation that we'll cover. And uh, based on this, from the emergence of human history, uh, collecting food uh, to the behavioral change, uh, which is uh, called as a nutrition uh, transition. So the nutrition transition has uh, five stages. And most of the countries in this world, are, uh, most of the developing countries are in the de degenerative disease stage. And uh, Japan and South Africa, these are the countries who are in the behavioral change stage. And uh, the temporal changes in the dietary history have quickened over the last three centuries. And just after World War II, it has got its momentum. And these momentas, the momentum uh, of dietary changes somehow linked to the uh, diet-related non-communicable disease. And in a very recent statistics from World Health Statistics, it was found that eight in a uh, thousand people died in the world in 2016. And among these 10 uh, deaths, seven is uh, due to the reason for the non-communicable disease. And uh, for the, having these statistics of the non-communicable disease, in 2002, uh, the National Academy of Medicine has developed the acceptable macronutrient distribution range, which is uh, regarded as the AMDRS, and, he, and they set forth an evidence-based range. And this evidence-based range were designed to ensure an adequate intake of nutrient and this also addresses the relationship of macronutrients and diet-related non-communicable disease. And uh, having this uh, background, uh, my study was uh, intended to analyze the dynamics and temporal trends in uh, the apparent energy and macronutrient intakes in Nepalese diet. And uh, due to the lack of long-term uh, national dietary intake data set, food availability data of Nepal was extracted uh, from, the, uh, from uh, 1961 to 2003, but obtained from the FAO uh, FAO state database. And uh, the atwater uh, coefficient were used to calculate the available energy from the macronutrients. Trend. And uh, to analyze the temporal trends, that how the dietary behavior of, uh, I mean, the apparent dietary availability in the Nepal is, uh, the Nepal changed. We have used joint point regression analysis, and this joint point regression analysis was done by using the joint point regression program. And uh, straight line segments are joint, uh, which is called joint points, and where energy and macronutrient intake changes, uh, uh, I mean the changes, uh, its slope is statistically uh, significant, and to describe the linear trends by period, uh, the estimated annual uh, percentage change, which is APC, is uh, calculated for each of the uh, trends where there is a significant change in the dietary behavior, uh, apparent uh, dietary availability in the Nepalese diet. And to look a, a little bit uh, focused on this issue, uh, this is a data set, uh, which is the 73 years uh, dietary intake data set from Japan. So uh, in this data set, this is a temporal trend that how the diet of Japan changes from just after the World War II and 2015. And in this data set, uh, these are the five significant trends that has been changed over period in the Japanese diet. So there is an upward change, then there is a uh, uh, stagnant force, then is a change, and there is a uh, slope down. I mean, slope down. So these are the five significant trends in the transition of the temporal change in the dietary intake of Japan. And uh, these are the points where uh, the segmented regression lines are joined together. Uh, these are called joint point. So we have, uh, I have analyzed these joint point where the trends is significantly changed. And uh, the, in between two joint points, uh, there are the two joint points, and uh, these are the year where the, um, the joint points are uh, created, where there is a significant change in the dietary intake. And in, with, between, in between uh, the two joint points, uh, we can calculate the APC, I mean the uh, annual percentage change, that how the change is, is occurred. So these are the uh, methodology section, and uh, in case of Nepal, uh, the, if we look at the very quick uh, in outline or nutshell that, uh, that the energy intake of uh, Nepal and availability uh, in the energy of Nepal is changed by 52.1% and in case of the energy contribution, I mean the carbohydrate energy, protein energy and fat energy, we have found that the carbohydrate energy in the Nepalese diet from 1961 to 2000, 2013 has changed only 6.4% and in case of protein, the change is only 1%. There, there is a, the uh, protein uh, energy is changed by only 1% and in case of fat energy, it was found that about 36% change has been occurred from uh, 1961 to 2013. Uh, this is Nepal and this is how the diet of Nepal changed. 
So this is uh, the, the uh, energy trends, I mean apparent energy intake, which is also called the availability of energy, uh, has been changed in Nepal. And if we input the joint point regression analysis on this data set, we found that this is Nepal. How the uh, diet, I mean availability of energy has been changed in Nepal from 1961 to 2000. And we have extracted four phases, four phases of apparent energy uh, intake changes in Japan, uh, in, um, Nepal, and the first phase is from 1961 to 1982. Then after 1982, there is a very sharp increase uh, uh, up to 1981, and there is, an, there is a change where the dietary uh, availability has not been changed, and it is from 1989 to 2001. So, at this period, the APC, I mean annual percentage change, was not found significant. But the change is significant, but within the change, the, uh, the apparent energy was not found significant. And just after the 2001, there is a very sharp increase, uh, increase in the availability of energy up to 2013. And if we want to know that how the annual percentage changes of this energy, we found that uh, from 1961 to 1982, apparently there was no changes in the availability of new energy in the Nepalese diet. And just after 1982, there is a 3.32 APC annual percentage change. And after that, there is a stagnant phase where uh, only 0.13% has been changed. And after that, uh, till 2013, the available data, there is a 1.4% uh, annual percentage change in the Nepalese diet. And uh, in case of... Um, uh, in case of the apparent energy from carbohydrate, we have extracted only three phase, and this phase is from 1961 to 69, and after 69, there is a decrease in the carbohydrate energy in the Nepalese diet up to 2005, and from 2005, there is a sh little bit uh, sharp uh, decrease in their availability, and if we want to know about the what are the uh, annual percentage change, and the annual percentage change is uh, at first there is an increase in the carbohydrate energy, and uh, from 1961, the, the energy was uh, decreased by 0.1% uh, per year, and after that, 0.55%. And in case of uh, protein energy, it does not change very much. It's 10% to 11 percent. So the uh, so the availability of protein energy in the Nepalese diet for the last 53 years just from the 10 percent to 11 percent. So the change is only 1 percent when you're considering the 1961 as a baseline. And we have extracted three phases of their changes from 1961 to 82, and from 81 to 88 there is a sharp decrease. And this sharp decrease uh, when I am analyzing the carbohydrate, protein, and other things, then I found that this uh, sharp a decrease is mainly due to their switch from the animal-based food to the plant-based food. So in 1982, there are some policy, there's something has happened where I need to go through the literature very deeply that what happened, what was the causes of the, either, either it is an internal or an external pressure or something from the adaptive translation of the Nepalese people that the protein energy intake has decre decreased. And this decrease is mainly uh, from their switch, at, as far as my uh, other analysis, switch from their animal-based diet to plant-based diet. And the changes, these are the annual percentage changes. And in case of fat energy, Again, from, we have extracted uh, three phases. And from 1970, there is a very sharp increase where uh, the annual percentage change was 0.7. And just after 2000, uh, 2006, the annual percentage wa change was 2.40. This is a very huge change in the uh, fat energy in the Nepalese diet. So, uh, in case of limitation, uh, we need to be very conscious. We need to be very conscious to explain the significant change in temporal trends because the methodological and analytical changes throughout the time period might affect the temporal trends. There might be external pressure due to the globalization, open market economy, anything. And there is also some internal pressure where disaster and other things can, help, uh, can affect the agriculture production. And moreover, the pr price fruit index and everything has an internal pressure. And moreover, the adaptive translation of the Nepalese people, how they are habituated or how they are taking the external internal pressure and they can modify themselves, all these things have impact. So when we are explaining the trends, we must be conscious and we have to uh, uh, accumulate or integrate all the things. 
And second was food balance sheet, because, this, because I have no data set, very long time data set that I have to use food balance sheet data. And it, food uh, balance sheet overestimated food consumption and nutrient index, and food are listed as basic commodity. And moreover, certain categories like uh, vegetables and fruits, uh, they are, um, I mean, the categories are not sufficient. They have very limited number of uh, food. And in conclusion, uh, I would like to say that uh, Energy availability increased by 52%, and the availability of carbohydrate energy through decreased, in, though decrease in the Nepalese diet, but it is still higher from the available, uh, from the recommended intake and available protein, especially from animal animal source, were inadequate in the diet uh, for the 53 years. And uh, during the 1980s, especially in between 1982 and 1988, uh, there is a marked shift in the availability of protein and fat in the diet and was characterized by increased plant origin fat and protein and reduced the animal origin fat. So something happens in the policy and other things where uh, this uh, marked switch has been happen happened in the Nepalese diet. And in the case of the timeline infographics, this is the first data set I have gone, uh, I have uh, uh, extracted, and this is the last data set. And what happened? That, that in 1970, the changes in fat and energy occurred in the Nepalese diet, and uh, the change in uh, micronutrient distribution of protein is occurred in uh, 1980. Thank you. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you.